Um, now the, uh, the flat foot or the type 1 foot uh, has its own set of problems that are, that are associated with it. Uh, a flat foot tends to put more stress on the structures that are on the inside of the ankle and the inside of the arch, including the tendons, the ligaments, and also the bone structures. And, uh, and the flat foot deformity tends to, to have issues with, first of all, the posterior tibial tendon, which is a major supporting tendon for the arch. It runs right across the inside of the arch and, held, and holds it up. But when the foot is collapsed or pronated, uh, then that tendon tends to get stretched over time. And in patients anywhere from ages often uh, uh, upper 30s or 40s all the way up to age 70 to 80 can have a collapse of the foot related to when that tendon fails. And so in addition, uh, other structures on the inside of the foot can also stretch and the flat foot deformity can become more severe. Uh, a flat foot or a type 1 foot tends to put stress on the inside of the big toe because when it pronates, you tend to walk on the inside of the, of the border of your foot and drive that big toe outward. So it pushes that towards the second toe and that's what's known as a bunion or we call it a hallux valgus deformity, meaning you know, big toe or hallux and valgus means away from the inside of the body again, so it pushes the toe that direction. Uh, and that can be really problematic, and it's a very common uh, problem. And if the flat foot is not corrected, then that's going to tend to progress in many patients. Uh, in addition, other structures that can fail too include the joints across the middle of the foot can often collapse as a component of the flat foot because they've been stressed in that direction for so long. Um, one of the things that also occurs is the uh, Achilles tendon tends to become shortened because the foot tilts and it goes into valgus here, which causes a little shorter distance between the heel and the Achilles, and so it tightens up over time, and that has its own set of problems that often can lead to surgery and other, uh, and other treatments to try to resolve that, including physical therapy, stretching, and so forth.